Hello everyone, this is Samir and today we are going to discuss a small project on Arduino. In this project we will be emulating a mouse. Now first we understand what is a mouse, we all have used it. So a mouse is basically just a small device which converts the mechanical motion of our hand to the electronic motion of the cursor. Same thing we will be simulating using a Arduino in that the uh, physical motion will be happening in the form of rotation of a potentiometer and the electronic motion as usual on the alphanumeric LCD in the form of the motion of the cursor it will be happening. Now let's jump on to the project. These are the things that will be required for this project. You can see a USB table, an Arduino, a breadboard, two potentiometers, LCD display and a, and a lot of jumper wires. The USB cable is to upload the code on the Arduino uh, and then we will be using the Arduino Uno for this project. The potentiometer, one potentiometer will be working as our mouse and other one is to adjust the contrast on the LCD. Breadboard is for connections and of course this uh, jumper wires are also for connections. Now let's see the working of the project. This is the code that I was talking about. First we have a look at this connections. At the left side, we can see these the numbers 12, 11, 5, 4, 3, 2. These are the uh, Arduino pins. And on the right side, these are the LCD pin. RS, enable, D4 to D7. One thing you can de derive from here that as we are using the digital pins D4 to D7 of the LCD, we are using the LCD in 4-bit mode. Because there are less number of pins on Arduino compared to 8051 or Atmeta32 and so on. This read write pin determines that the LCD will uh, work in the write mode uh, because we are keeping it to the room. VDD and VSS are the power supply pins and A and the K pin are the backlight pins. If we uh, keep these connections like A pin to 5 volts and K pin to ground, the backlight of the LCD will be active. So then we, we will include this liquidcrystal.h library and we enable this library by calling this function liquidcrystal. LCD and these pins, then uh, we determine the number of rows and the total number of columns in the LCD. This is used here, lcd.begin, number of columns and number of rows, which uh, this, this function tells the Arduino that what type of LCD we are interfacing. As we are interfacing 16 cross 2 LCD, the number of rows will be 2 and the number of columns will be 16. Then we re in the loop function. This happen, uh, This whole thing, this LCD dot begin. This happens in the setup function because this this needs to be done only once. Then in the loop function of the Arduino, we see first of all this sensor value equal to analog read A zero. What does it do? It reads the analog voltage level at the A zero pin and converts it into a binary value. That the range of that binary value is somewhere between zero to one zero two. Now, as there are only 32 valid cursor positions, we, uh, why are there only 32 valid cursor positions? Because we are using uh, 16 cross 2 LCD. 16 cross 2 LCD has 16 rows and 2 columns. Uh, I mean, 16 columns and 2 rows. If we multiply both of them, then there are 32 valid cursor positions. So, if the, we have to divide the 0 to 1024 space in 32 equal parts, this I have done in this tool. If the sensor value is between 0 to uh, zero to 32, the row number will be 0 and column number will be 0. If, if the sensor value is between 32 to 64, the row number will be 0 and column number equal to 1 and so on. This calculation, uh, based on that calculation that I talked about, this whole code, code is based on that calculation. And in the end, uh, here, in the end, we call this function set cursor. What does it do? It uh, enables the cursor. Basically, it uh, yeah, it only enables the cursor. And this blink function, it enables the blinking of the cursor. So now let's look at the output of the project, the physical output of the project. So these are the connections. The connections are quite clumsy, but the output is quite interesting. You can see in the LCD, the cursor is blinking. Now I will change the 
position of the cursor by moving my potential just a minute you can see uh, as i am moving the potentiometer the position of the cursor is changing uh, it will go up till the last position and then come back yeah once again and back So this, this was the project. Subscribe to our channel Nation In and uh, if you like this video, follow us on Instagram. The links of uh, links of the Instagram account will be available in the description. Thank you.